We present a surgical technique for Achilles tendon repair. No authors have any conflicts of interest. Examination under anesthesia demonstrates excessive dorsiflexion and a positive Thompson's test. When planning the surgical incision, it is important to first palpate the gap at the Achilles tear and mark it, and then cheat the incision more medial as to reduce risk to the sural nerve. The incision may begin proximal to the area of the palpable gap, and the proximal stump may be exposed. Any degenerative tissue can be sharply excised. It is not necessary to extend the incision distally, as the distal stump can be accessed by simply plantar flexing the ankle. Preparation of the proximal stump for repair follows with a traditional locking Krakow suture, utilizing a number two ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene braided polyester suture. At this time, a backup suture is placed into the proximal mountainous junction for later fixation into the calcaneus. A 1.3 mm flat braided suture with greater resistance to pull out strength can be placed in either a Kessler locking or a Krakow suture configuration in the myotendinous juncture. Alternatively, an ultra high strength flat tape suture can be utilized. Next, the distal Achilles stump can be presented into the incision by plantar flexing the ankle. A number two ultra high molecular weight polyester braided suture is utilized in a locking Krakow configuration to prepare the distal stump, as demonstrated here. Following this, incisions are marked on the medial and lateral calcaneus for future backup fixation. A micro lasso is then advanced through these incisions, taking care to palpate the distal Achilles stump and feeding the micro lasso through the distal Achilles stump tissue. At this point, the nitinol wire from the micro lasso is advanced for future suture passage. The high strength flat braided suture in the proximal myotendinous juncture that is exiting deep within the proximal Achilles stump will be retrieved through the nitinol wire out of the distal calcaneal incisions to be utilized for backup fixation. This should be performed on both the medial and lateral side and placing these sutures under tension will reduce the proximal stump distally towards the calcaneus as demonstrated here. Following this, attention is turned to the modified gift box portion of the technique. A micro lasso is advanced into the distal stump from a medial to lateral direction. The nine null wire is advanced and the lateral number two suture from the proximal stump is retrieved. The same is repeated on the lateral side, advancing the nitinol wire to retrieve the medial suture from the proximal stump, such that now both limbs of the number two braided suture that was passed through the proximal stump have been retrieved through the distal Achilles stump. Similarly, this is repeated in the proximal Achilles stump, First, using the micro lasso from a medial to lateral direction to retrieve the lateral number two sutures from the distal Achilles, followed by in the lateral to medial direction to retrieve the medial number two suture from the distal Achilles, such that both limbs of the distal Achilles are now through the substance of the proximal Achilles stump. To complete the repair, the ankle is plantar flexed and the backup calcaneal sutures are tensioned. The author's preferred technique is to retrieve the lateral sutures deep to the Achilles tendon to the medial side where they are tied sequentially while pulling tension on the reciprocal sutures. Following this, both the proximal and distal sutures can be tied to one another and after cutting can be dunked deep to the Achilles tendon to reduce irritation on the sural nerve and the surrounding skin. Calcaneal backup fixation is then performed by drilling and tapping the appropriately sized pilot hole for the calcaneal anchors. The author's preferred technique is to utilize a 3.5 mm anchor for the 1.3 mm flat braided suture tape. Alternatively, a 4.75 mm anchor can be utilized for an ultra high strength flat suture tape. Anchoring the suture tape from the proximal Achilles stump into the calcaneus reduces tension across the repair site and potentially reduces intrasubstance lengthening during the initial phases of healing. A negative Thompson test is demonstrated in both patients included in this technique video. This technique allows for a small, medially-based incision.